Deep in the jungles, beneath the blaze of deserts, and in forgotten corners of our homes, hide small creatures, silent and armed with an invisible power that turns the slightest contact into instant suffering. They don't need to dominate to be lethal. What makes them truly dangerous is something far more subtle, more precise, and infinitely more relentless. Venom. Today we step into the kingdom of eight legs, a world where tiny hairy silhouettes can bring down giants, where a simple touch can mean necrosis, paralysis, or even death. Some are timid, others aggressive, and a few so venomous that no antidote even exists. Get ready because what you're about to see isn't just a ranking, it's a journey into the darkest, most toxic, and fascinating side of spiders. Welcome to Curiometro. Number 15. Yellow Sack Spider In the silent nights of North America, when houses sleep and hallways sink into shadow, a tiny hunter emerges from its silky refuge. The yellow sack spider doesn't build the visible webs you'd expect. It weaves small silk sacks in high corners beneath furniture between the leaves of household plants. Its yellowish body, no bigger than your fingernail, looks harmless. When it bites, it injects cytolytic enzymes that can cause localized pain and moderate swelling. Although for decades it was blamed for severe necrotic cases, verified bite studies now show this is extremely rare. Most encounters result in bee sting-like symptoms. Typical encounters occur at night. You roll over in bed, reach into a drawer without looking, or the spider gets caught in your clothes. The initial pain is moderate, followed by redness that usually resolves within days. Thousands of people in the United States and Canada experience bites each year, but the vast majority are mild cases that don't require specialized medical care. This little nocturnal weaver opens our list because it represents an important lesson. Reputation doesn't always match scientific reality. Number 14. Goody Sapphire Tarantula In the humid forests of southern India, where moss-covered trunks glisten and golden rays barely pierce the canopy, dwells one of the most beautiful and temperamental tarantulas on the planet. The Goody Sapphire Tarantula shines in metallic blue and golden hues as if crafted by a divine jeweler. Its body can reach 20 centimeters across, with legs that move like lightning through the branches. But behind that hypnotic beauty hides an explosive temperament. Its venom contains complex neurotoxins that may cause intense pain, prolonged muscle cramps, and in documented cases, spasms requiring hospitalization. Though reports of seizures in humans are rare, the pain can persist for days. This arboreal tarantula is not just fast, it's unpredictable. It can go from motionless to striking in a fraction of a second, leaping distances three times the length of its body. Experienced collectors consider it one of the most challenging species to keep in captivity. Its strike speed outpaces human reflexes, and its willingness to bite when threatened is legendary among arachnologists. Because when a jewel of nature evolved to defend itself, admiring it from afar is the only wise option. Number 13. Fringed Ornamental Tarantula High in the trees of India and Sri Lanka, where branches form natural highways and bark becomes the perfect camouflage, reigns a tarantula that has turned the treetops into its hunting ground. The fringed ornamental tarantula displays gray, black, and white patterns that make it virtually invisible against bark. Its robust body can exceed 25 centimeters across, with powerful legs built for leaping. Unlike ground-dwelling tarantulas, this species doesn't flee when threatened. It counterattacks. Its venom can cause severe pain, muscle stiffness, profuse sweating, and, in documented cases, hospitalization for pain management. Severe neurological effects like seizures are rare but have been reported. This arboreal tarantula is extremely territorial and lightning fast. When it detects movement in its tree, it can launch from above with lethal precision. Its considerable size means each bite delivers a significant dose of toxin. Medical cases record hospital stays for managing intense pain, with symptoms lasting for days. In Asia's monsoon forests, local gatherers have learned to always look up before climbing, because from the treetops, even humans can appear as threatening intruders. Number 12. Mediterranean Recluse Spider In the warm regions surrounding the Mediterranean Sea, where the sun whitens ancient stone and the air smells of wild thyme, hides a spider capable of causing significant skin necrosis. The Mediterranean Recluse Spider favors dry, dusty corners of old houses. Its light brown body, barely 8 mm long, blends perfectly into old wood and cracked walls. By day it stays motionless, by night it hunts small insects. Its venom contains necrotic toxins that can destroy cells and create severe skin lesions, including enzymes that help the venom spread rapidly through tissue. The initial bite is nearly imperceptible, no pain, no immediate swelling. But in the following hours a lesion may appear, evolving into a necrotic ulcer. Severe cases are relatively rare, but when they occur, they may require specialized medical treatment. This spider has colonized Mediterranean homes for centuries, hiding behind paintings, in antique wardrobes, in cracks of historic walls. 
In Spain, France, and Italy, cases rise in summer when human activity in enclosed spaces intensifies. Though most bites result in minor lesions, the potential for complications makes every encounter worth taking seriously. Number 11. Six-Eyed Sand Spider In the relentless deserts of southern Africa, where heat blurs the horizon and survival is measured in drops of water, lives a spider that has perfected camouflage into a lethal art. The six-eyed sand spider doesn't just blend into the desert, it becomes invisible. Its sandy-colored body, coated in attached grains, turns it into a living trap when it buries itself. It can remain motionless for months, without water, without food, patiently waiting. Its venom contains unique enzymes that, according to toxicological studies, could cause severe tissue and circulatory damage. Yet there are no verified human bite cases in the medical literature. This spider is extraordinarily reclusive, inhabiting the most remote stretches of the Kalahari Desert. Its ambush from sand strategy makes it theoretically a serious threat, but its absolute avoidance of human contact makes encounters virtually impossible. There is no specific anti-venom, but since no human bite cases are recorded, this remains a theoretical concern. Arachnologists who have spent decades studying it rarely manage to observe it in action, proof of its extremely elusive nature. It's a reminder that the most effective danger is often the one that never needs to show itself. Number 10. Katipo Spider On the wild coasts of New Zealand, among black volcanic sand dunes and vegetation hardened by sea winds, lives a small spider that represents a real but very rare threat. The Katipo Spider is endemic to New Zealand and a close relative of the Black Widow. Its shiny black abdomen, marked with distinctive red and white stripes, identifies it among driftwood scattered by the waves. It builds its webs in natural coastal shelters, especially among plant debris left by storms. Its venom contains neurotoxins similar to other Latrodectus species. It can cause latrodectism, severe pain, muscle spasms, sweating, nausea, and in serious cases, difficulty breathing. However, bites are extraordinarily rare due to its limited habitat and elusive behavior. The last recorded fatality dates back to 1923, and New Zealand today treats occasional cases with Australian redback anti-venom. This spider has turned certain remote beaches into areas where seasoned campers carefully inspect natural shelters before settling in. Its rarity makes it more of a dangerous curiosity than an everyday threat, but its presence reminds us that even countries with relatively benign wildlife can harbor lethal exceptions. Number 9. Brown Widow in warm climates across multiple continents, from California backyards to Australian balconies, a cosmopolitan spider has proven that global expansion doesn't always mean greater danger. The brown widow displays grayish-brown colors that blend perfectly into common urban surfaces. Its compact body and distinctive geometric abdomen markings set it apart from other widows. It has successfully colonized urban habitats across all warm continents with remarkable evolutionary efficiency. Its venom, though sharing components with the black widows, typically produces milder symptoms. In regions where it has displaced black widow populations, the overall risk of severe envenomation has even decreased. This spider is less aggressive than its relatives, becoming defensive mainly when protecting egg sacs. Typical symptoms include localized pain, muscle discomfort, and occasionally mild systemic effects. Its extraordinary reproductive capacity allows it to colonize new territories rapidly. A single female can produce multiple egg sacs each season. The brown widow represents a fascinating case where evolutionary success and global spread do not necessarily translate into greater lethality for humans. Number 8. Mouse Spider In the arid landscapes of Australia's interior, where every creature seems forged by extreme conditions, the mouse spider has developed a potent venom, but a behavior that minimizes dangerous encounters. The mouse spider doesn't impress visually. A stout body, sturdy legs, deliberate movements. It builds vertical burrows in hard soil, emerging occasionally to hunt, mostly at night and in the early morning. Its venom contains atricotoxins that can cause severe envenomation with significant neurological symptoms. However, many bites are dry, with no venom injection, and serious cases are relatively rare. The antivenom developed for the Sydney funnel web spider is effective against its venom, underscoring its toxic potential. Symptoms can include severe pain, sweating, nausea, and in extreme cases, neurological effects requiring hospitalization. This spider inhabits mainly remote rural areas, and its generally reclusive behavior greatly reduces the chance of human encounters. Most documented bites occurred when the spiders were handled directly. In the Australian context, where competition for the title of most venomous is fierce, the mouse spider proves that venom potency doesn't always correlate with real statistical danger. Number 7. Red Widow in Florida's scrublands, where the landscape is defined by dense vegetation and sandy soils, lives a spider that represents a localized but significant threat. 
The Red Widow is endemic to this specific Florida ecosystem. Its body ranges from black to reddish with distinctive markings that set it apart from other widows. It builds its webs in dense shrub vegetation, especially in dwarf palmettos and low oaks typical of this scrub habitat. Its venom contains alpha latrotoxin, like other widows of the genus, and can cause severe latrodectism. Symptoms include intense muscle pain, especially abdominal, stiffness, sweating, and in severe cases, cardiovascular complications. This spider has an extremely limited distribution, confined mainly to central Florida scrub habitats. Human encounters are rare due to the specialized nature of its ecosystem, but when they do occur, they can be serious. Treatment with Latrodectus antivenom is effective when administered in time. Cases require careful medical evaluation due to the potential severity of symptoms. Its existence is a reminder that extreme ecological specialization can create dangerous hotspots in very specific geographic areas. Number 6. Brown Recluse Spider In the central regions of the United States, from Texas to the Great Lakes, lurks a spider whose reputation often exceeds its true range, but whose venom represents a legitimate medical threat in its native territory. The brown recluse spider lives up to its name with genuinely reserved behavior. Its light brown body carries the distinctive violin-shaped mark on its cephalothorax. It prefers dry, dark, undisturbed spaces, basements, attics, closets, storage rooms. Its venom is necrotic, capable of destroying cells and tissue. In severe cases, it can cause extensive lesions requiring specialized medical care and rarely serious systemic complications. The initial bite is typically painless, occurring when victims unknowingly come into contact with the spider in confined spaces. The progression to skin necrosis happens in a minority of cases, but when it does, it can be dramatic. A crucial point. Outside its natural range in the south-central U.S., most so-called brown recluse bites are actually medical misdiagnoses of other conditions. Confirmation requires both the spider and compatible clinical evolution. This species demonstrates the importance of correct identification in the diagnosis of spider bites. Number 5. Chilean Recluse Spider In the central valleys of Chile, where urban development pushes into traditionally wild areas, lives a spider that represents the country's most serious arachnid threat. The Chilean recluse spider has successfully colonized urban areas of central Chile. Its light brown body blends seamlessly into common household corners. For decades, it has coexisted with human populations in Santiago, Valparaíso, and other major cities. Its venom is intensely necrotic, capable of destroying cells and tissue rapidly. In severe cases, skin lesions become extensive and painful, and occasionally serious complications have been recorded requiring prolonged hospitalization or even ending in death. This spider is responsible for the majority of medically significant arachnid envenomations in Chile. Severe cases may require surgical debridement, and the country maintains specific protocols for its treatment. But context matters. While it represents the highest arachnid risk in Chile, fatal bites are rare, and many years pass with no recorded deaths. Severe cases, though serious, do not constitute an epidemic. Chile has developed a specific anti-venom that must be administered early for maximum effectiveness. Its urban presence requires household precautions, but does not justify disproportionate panic. Number 4. Black Widow In the peri-urban structures of the Americas, from suburban garages to rural sheds, reigns the icon of arachnid venom, a spider whose historic reputation has been reshaped by modern medicine. The Black Widow displays a glossy black abdomen marked with the distinctive red hourglass. Its occasional habit of consuming the male after mating earned it its legendary name. It has adapted successfully to life near human settlements. Its neurotoxin is potent, capable of causing latrodectism, a syndrome characterized by severe pain, muscle cramps, especially abdominal, profuse sweating and stiffness. Historically, without treatment, mortality could reach significant percentages. But with modern medical care and the availability of specific anti-venom, fatalities are rare in developed countries. Most cases resolve with symptomatic treatment, and anti-venom is reserved for the most severe cases. The United States records thousands of bites annually, but serious hospitalizations are relatively few. Clinical experience shows that while latrodectism is genuinely unpleasant, it is rarely fatal with proper care. This spider demonstrates how medical advances have transformed ancient terrors into manageable risks. Number 3. Redback Spider In Australian backyards, beneath everyday structures like garden furniture and sports equipment, lives a spider that has turned household caution into a national habit. The redback spider is found in both urban and rural Australia. Its black abdomen bears the distinctive red stripe that identifies it instantly. It has colonized virtually all peridomestic environments in Australia with such efficiency that health authorities monitor it constantly. 
Its venom can cause severe latrodectism, progressing significantly faster than in other species of the genus. Symptoms include radiating pain, intense sweating, vomiting, and muscle spasms that often require hospitalization for pain management. This spider is a major cause of arachnid-related hospitalizations in Australia, though it shares this statistic with bees, wasps, and other venomous species. Children are particularly vulnerable due to their lower body weight. Australia developed the first specific redback anti-venom in 1956, continuously refined since then. Severe cases may require multiple doses, but with proper treatment, fatalities are rare. The redback has taught Australians domestic vigilance. Check before reaching, inspect before sitting, look before touching outdoor objects. It's a spider that has genuinely shaped cultural behavior at a national level. Number 2. Sydney Funnel Web Spider in Sydney's suburban gardens, among the ornamental plants of one of the world's most livable cities, lurks a spider that has developed the most specifically lethal anti-primate venom known. The Sydney funnel web displays a unique aggressive behavior. When threatened, it rears up on its hind legs, exposing large fangs capable of piercing human nails. Its glossy black color and considerable size make it an intimidating presence that does not retreat from confrontation. Its venom contains toxins sculpted by evolution to target mammals, especially primates. These proteins cause neurons to fire uncontrollably, overloading the nervous system to the point of collapse. Symptoms progress rapidly. Numbness around the mouth, excessive salivation, tearing, followed by muscle spasms, breathing difficulties, and potentially coma. Historically, severe cases in children could be fatal in as little as 15 minutes, though today with modern anti-venom, this is preventable. Males are significantly more dangerous, and during mating season they leave their burrows, greatly increasing the chances of encounters. Since the anti-venom's introduction in 1981, Sydney has recorded no confirmed deaths from this species. The Citizen Spider Collection program for anti-venom production remains a model of community scientific collaboration. Sydney proves that coexistence with lethal predators is possible, with the right scientific preparation. Number 1. Brazilian Wandering Spider in the humid nights of Brazil's megacities where urban life blends with remnants of Atlantic forest, emerges a spider whose active hunting behavior sets it apart from every other species on this list. The Brazilian wandering spider abandons the typical web wading strategy. Its robust sensory hair-covered body can reach 15 centimeters across. At night, it actively patrols urban areas, entering houses, probing shelters, exploring human spaces. Its venom has been recognized by Guinness as one of the most potent in the arachnid world. It causes a syndrome known as phonutrism, excruciating pain, rapid heartbeat, high blood pressure, vomiting, and in men, a peculiar and painful side effect, prolonged, difficult-to-treat erections. This spider does not hunt humans for sport, as sensational accounts sometimes suggest, but its exploratory nocturnal behavior and readiness to bite when threatened create far more frequent encounters than with other species. It is responsible for the largest number of medically significant arachnid accidents in South America. Brazil maintains substantial anti-venom stocks in regions where it lives. Its scientific name, Phonutria murderous, reflects its reputation. But the scientific reality is a highly effective nocturnal hunter that occasionally mistakes humans for territorial threats. In cities like Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro, it stands as a stark reminder that urbanization doesn't always eliminate encounters with specialized predators. The Brazilian wandering spider takes the number one spot for one clear reason. It combines one of the most potent venoms with an active hunting behavior that makes it a threat even inside homes. 15 Spiders 15 different ways to turn a microscopic bite into a life-changing experience. From nocturnal hunters invading bedrooms to recluses turning familiar corners into chemical minefields, each has perfected its own recipe for destruction. The most surprising thing? Most don't even want to bite you. Their venoms evolved to hunt insects, not humans. We are just collateral victims of a chemical war millions of years in the making. But there's a clear lesson. Respect for these tiny architects of venom isn't optional. It's a matter of survival. Now I want to hear from you. Which of these spiders impressed you the most? Have you ever had a close encounter with one? Or is there a venomous spider in your region that deserves a place on this list? Let me know in the comments. I love hearing the experiences of curious minds like yours. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to Curiometro, and hit the bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. See you in the next one, curious friend.